वेलकम एवरी वन सो वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ लेट इस हैव अ लुक एट वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग पैटर्न और प्रोग्रेशन कॉल दी जियोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन जी पी सो लेट से यू ट्राई टू डू समथिंग एट योर होम विथ अ बॉल यू जस्ट बाउंस इट एंड देन ट्राई टू रिकॉर्ड दी हाइट इट रीचेस ऑन एवरी बाउंस सो naturally you will find that the first jump will be the highest then the ball will lose some energy and then it will reach up to some height and then the height will keep on decreasing let's say we are recording the height uh, the ball reaches on its uh, every jump so let's say it just happens to be that uh, the height the ball reaches are in the first time it reaches let's say 10 feet or something like that it's very bouncy ball so it reaches 10 feet in the second jump it reaches 5 feet in the third it reaches 2.5 and so on you can carry on next thing which you can do is you can start counting number of ancestors you have so let's say you start with your parents so you have mom and dad so in this generation you have two parents your mom would have two uh, two parents uh, her mom and dad your dad would have again his uh, mom and dad so in that generation you would have four grandparents then again each of your grandparents would have their two parents so you would have eight great grandparents then you would have 16 great great grandparents and so on it can continue or you can simply find somewhere a sequence like 1 by 9 minus 1 by 27 1 by 81 minus 1 by 243 and so on so what is going on with these uh, sequences you can see that uh, in the first case you have the first term as 10 now the way you obtain the second term is it is decreasing by 2 that is you are multiplying 1 by 2 to the first term then you get your second term again what you do here you are multiplying it by 1 by 2 then you get your third term to get the fourth term you will again do the same 1 by 2 in this case here what was happening is it was getting doubled so you are multiplying by 2 every time 2 multiplied by 2 4 4 multiplied by 2 8 8 multiplied by 2 16 and in this case you were multiplying it by minus 1 by 3 1 by 9 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 you get minus 1 by 27 similarly minus 1 by 27 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 you get 1 by 81 again you multiply by minus 1 by 3 you get minus 1 by 243 so similar to what was happening in case of arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression we are adding a fixed number whereas in geometric progression we will be multiplying by a fixed number now drawing similar analogies from uh, what we studied in arithmetic progression this fixed number will be called as a common ratio or a fixed ratio and we denote it by r now we try to interpret uh, geometric progression in the same way we uh, approach to interpret arithmetic progression So the first thing, let's say we have a sequence as a1, a2, a3, and so on, a n, and it will continue. So this uh, sequence will be called a geometric progression if there is a constant ratio between each of their terms. That is, a2 by a1 should be equal to a3 by a2, and so on. That is, a2 by a1 should be equal to a3 by a2. this should be equal to a4 by a3 a3 and so on or in other words you can uh, say that a k plus 1 divided by a k should be constant and let's say this is equal to r so you have a com you have a constant ratio you have a fixed ratio or a common ratio so for all terms greater than equal to 1 so for every term after you first term second term third term and so on it should satisfy this thing whenever you take a ratio between a higher term than one term right before it 
then it should have a constant ratio and it is called the fixed ratio. Now let's have a look at how do we write a GP in its general sense. So we start with the first term A. Now how do we obtain its second term? We simply multiply by the fixed ratio R. Therefore the second term will be AR. Similarly to get the third term you again multiply by the fixed ratio you get AR square. To get the next term you again multiply by the fixed ratio R so it will become AR cube and so on. Now one thing which you could observe here is this is your first term. So it is A1 A. You have your second term. So second term is you are multiplying R one time that is two minus one times. So by the time you reach your second term you multiplied the fixed ratio one time. Now by the time you reach your third term you will multiply your common ratio two times. So this is AR three minus one. So now when you reach your fourth term you would have multiplied the common ratio three times AR cube or this can be written as AR four minus one and so on. So now what will happen when you reach your nth term you would have multiplied the first term by the common ratio n minus one number of times. Therefore the general term for a GP geometric progression is written as AR to the power n minus one. So the way we are approaching uh, so the way we are approaching uh, geometric progression is similar to the way we approached arithmetic progression. So you can at every step draw analogies from arithmetic progression. So in case of arithmetic progression what did we have? We were adding a constant term right. So for an AP by the time we reached nth term we added the common difference D to the uh, first term A n minus 1 times. Now similarly in case of geometric progression by the time we reach nth term instead of adding the common difference we are multiplying the common ratio or the fixed ratio n minus 1 number of times to the first term. So let's say if we want to write the uh, expression for the 16th term in a GP. So what will it be? It will be the first term A multiplied by R and how many times would you have multiplied R by the time you reach the 16th term you would have multiplied it 15 times so AR to the power 15 or you can also think of it as AR to the power 16 minus 1. Similarly T20 would be AR to the power 20 minus 1 that is 19. So it follows quite similar to our understanding of arithmetic progression. Next as we did in arithmetic progression we will try to find the sum of first n terms in a geometric progression. You can find all the lectures on arithmetic progression in this playlist here and also the lectures on pair of linear equations in two variables in this uh, playlist here. Also please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. Thank you.